It's been an unprecedented 24 hours in the NFL as former NFL coach Brian Flores has filed a class action lawsuit against the league, citing racism and lack of integrity in hiring processes. I'm Ashley Nicole Moss, joined by Robin Lundberg. And Robin, this lawsuit is a bombshell. In it, Brian Flores accuses the Giants of giving him a sham interview to adhere to the Rooney rule, says that Dolphins owner Stephen Ross offered him $100,000 for every loss to increase the team's draft picks and also accuses him, accuses him of wanting to tamper with the quarterback market. So I'm not going to go ahead and dive into the logistics of this lawsuit. I'm not a lawyer and I probably won't do it justice, but I am a minority that lives in a world, in a country that is constructed for us to fail. So I'm going to speak on that. Black people are not asking for handouts. Let me make that very clear and abundantly clear to everybody watching this video. Black people are not looking for handouts. They're looking for opportunities. They're asking to stop having to be overqualified to ultimately just be overlooked. The league claims to be result driven, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. But the goalpost is constantly moved when it comes to black head coaches. They claim to be rooted in diversity, but in a league where a non-existent rule has resulted in one head coach of color in the year 2022. That rule was implemented 16 years ago. 16 years ago, we had three black head coaches. And now 16 years later, there's one. The rule does not work. And honestly, when you need to implement a rule that promotes diversity, that in itself is a problem. Nobody is saying that Brian Flores may have been the best guy for the job. Nobody's saying he should have been handed the job. What we're saying is he should have had the opportunity to interview it, interview for it, just like everybody else. And he didn't have that. And it's a perpetual problem in the NFL that we are constantly having this conversation. We had it with Colin Kaepernick six years ago and some change and we're having it again the problem is not in the players the problem is not in the coaches the problem is the lack of diversity at the very top of this mountain and it does not change until you change that and for everybody saying that we're asking black people minorities are asking for handouts they truly don't understand the problem and the problem simply is this you don't have to go ahead and award opportunities simply because of the color of someone's skin. But you do have to go ahead and award opportunities to the best person possible. And you can't tell me that the best person possible for 16 years and before that has always been a white male, because that would be a lie. Well, you mentioned at the top. I mean, look at the ownership levels of the NFL. Also look at the popularity of the NFL. So when you are, I, I argue the NFL is the single most popular thing in this country period. And most of the people who are upset now are gonna be tuning in to watch the Super Bowl. So if there was a level of, of arrogance or a, a level you know, of not changing, that's where it comes from in one regard until there are actual consequences and ramifications for these things. I mean, look at the one head coach who is black currently in the NFL, Mike Tomlin. He's only had to never have a losing season to remain in that position over that period of time. You mentioned it, the, the Rooney rule. Anytime you have to institute something like that, it shows that there was a root issue. But when it, it becomes um, a qualification or a, a box to check, that is the, the problem, not someone going in with the correct spirit. So I'm sure Brian Flores is not the first coach who may have had to go through a, a sham interview or what they believe was a sham interview for a team that was treating the Rooney rule like the, the terms and conditions at, at the bottom of an Apple receipt or something along those lines. And, and that, of course, is one reason this could be good because it draws a lot of attention to that problem and maybe that brings good faith intentions to try and alleviate it. As far as it bringing down the NFL, like people said, I'll go back to what I said before. You know, the NFL is, is so big, so popular, and nothing seems to shake that. And I also don't know if the, the Bill Belichick texts are some smoking gun. They may show that perhaps it, it was just being conducted uh, in, in bad faith, in a sense, even though the Giants will refute it. Where I think the, the actual fallout could come is the accusations against Stephen Ross. If there's any sort of, of evidence or a paper trail there, especially as big as sports gambling has become, that an owner was essentially trying to actively throw games, that is a, a huge scandal.
Yeah, and you mentioned Mike Tomlin, and it's important to remember how that played out, right? Mike Tomlin wasn't the guy the Steelers had in mind. He became the guy when he had an opportunity to interview and just wowed that entire organization. Ryan Flores was not awarded that opportunity. And what I read in those Bill Belichick text messages wasn't somebody who was angry. It wasn't somebody who was looking for revenge. It was somebody who was hurt. That thanks, Bill, is the realization that you never even stood a chance. It's the realization that many minorities in this country are constantly feeling. To know that you are overqualified for something, but to know that ultimately you were overlooked simply because you didn't know the right people, or simply because it's a boys club, or simply because it's a white males club. And that really is the root of this. What make what comes of this lawsuit? You know, that's not for you and I to figure out. We're not lawyers, you know, we're on TV for a reason. But we are people who live in a country that is flawed. We are people who live in a country that value certain people more than they value others. We are we do live in a country where some people get opportunities that other people don't. And again, to reiterate, this is not about awarding opportunities simply because someone is black or simply because someone is a minority or simply because they check a box. It's about evening the playing field. And that's not just in the NFL, that's across the board, that's in life. And the playing field is not even. And until you even that playing field, until you have companies who do more than just performative allyship, like the NFL has been guilty of, they say that they're diverse, they're diverse um, in their practices. That's the furthest from the truth. And the resume shows that. Until people are about the actions, that they go ahead and they vocalize on statements and on Twitter and social media and in the press, we'll constantly be in this revolving door of perpetual failings of minorities in this country simply because they're minorities in this country. Well, look, I think in, in every case, you have to treat it for what it is, right? That individual instance. That uh, The problem has clearly been there for a long time. It, it is continuously brought up for a reason. In Brian Flores's case, beyond what the details are of the lawsuit, I always have respect for somebody who's willing to risk something. And, and Brian Flores is putting his career on the line here. I'll wait till I have all the information on his accusations before I, I decide you know, exactly the merit of everything he's putting out in his specific instance. But he does have results, as you mentioned, to back it up as Dolphins coach. So that doesn't mean um, a Brian Dable, for instance, wasn't qualified for the job either. We know what he's done in Buffalo. But what you're, you're asking for is that the guys who have earned the job, who have proven themselves, are given that same opportunity every time and aren't just getting put through a dog and pony show. And I think in closing, I think what we're also asking is to stop having minorities, black men, black women having to be martyrs and having to blow up their entire livelihood and their existence to bring about change that should already exist in the country and the businesses within that country. But this story is gonna continue to develop. This is just the first piece of this puzzle and we'll be on it as more information comes out.